Hi, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to go over how to perform linear regression in R. So to start with, I just want to grab a data set um, to work with, and I'm going to go to the UCI machine learning repository to get it. So this is a good place to get data sets uh, for you to play around with. So just Google UCI machine learning repository, and it'll be your first link. You can follow it from there. For this example, I'm going to use the housing data set. And uh, real quick, let's just take a glance at the description of what we're working with. So if you see, I have 506 observations, and this is on 14 attributes. So for this uh, for this example, I'm going to use this number 14 median value of owner-occupied homes in thousands of dollars uh, as my response variable, and I'm going to use 1 through 13 uh, as my predictor variable. So I'm going to use attributes 1 through 13 to try to predict the response variable number 14, which is the median value of owner-occupied homes. And we see that there's no missing attributes, uh, so no missing values. So I want to load this into R real quick, so I'm just going to import it from this URL. And import. Okay, so now you see the housing data set is in R. One thing I want to change is the column names, um, something more descriptive. So to do this, I can just do column names. I'll refresh. Okay, so all I did was just call in names of housing, and these are the name. This is a vector of all the names um, that were given in the data set description. And uh, as you can see, all these columns now have uh, have the appropriate names. So uh, I'm going to start off with just doing this in a one-dimensional case, and we can extend this to a multi-dimensional um, a little bit later on. So uh, to start with, let's just take a uh, take a look at what this data looks like. So I'm going to plot a 1D case, and let's plot um, MDV, which is the median house value, which is what we want to predict. And let's use age to predict this. Okay, so what this does is it plots... Um, the median and the age using the data set housing. And what this tilde does right here, this means formula, so it means everything to the left of the tilde is the response variable, everything to the right is a predictor variable, more or less. Okay? So we see that uh, as age goes up, median value goes down, so there is some slight um, um, correlation here, or a negative correlation. All right. So uh, given that, let's move on to uh, how to actually perform linear regression. So uh, if you remember uh, what it is, and I'm going to make the assumption everyone here knows what linear regression is, um, but just as a refresher, uh, we have a response variable, and we're assuming that this is a linear function of predictors. And uh, in this case, uh, it's just uh, going to be one variable, so we'll just call this uh, y and x. So we want to learn this uh, this regressor right here. So I want to learn what this intercept A and a coefficient B are. And once I do that, I can input in a new X value and this will give me the predicted Y value. So the goal is to find the intercept and the coefficient of the predictors. And to do this, I'm going to use the function LM. So if you do help LM, uh, you see you get the documentation for the LM function. Now this is just a fitting a linear model. You see a description here the usage, and uh, all the arguments in an argument description. So I won't go over all the, the documentation, but if you want to go into more detail, you can. So once this is done, I can call this function. And I'm going to do the same formula as before. Right. 
So using the housing data, I'm going to try to predict the median value using age, and this is going to output an object, and I'm going to store it to a variable called house. All right. So let's take a look at what this object looks like. See all it has is the, uh, the call that was used, and then the coefficients. So I see the intercept right here, and uh, in the coefficient of age. And at that point, you're, you're done um, with performing linear regression, but let's uh, take a look at a couple couple of neat things. One, let's just plot this uh, what this line looks like to see what it looks like on top of this uh, on this data. So I'm going to use the function AB line. And I'll explain what this means. Okay, so So AB line just plots a line on an existing plot um, with the intercept A and coefficient B, slope B. And uh, I'm getting these values from the housing object that we created before uh, from the LM function call. Okay. So now if you look at this plot, we see that the, uh, the line right here, that's the line that we predicted. So we see that uh, it does have a, a downward slope. So as age increases, uh, the median value of the home uh, decreases. Right. So once we've done that, there's several other things we can do. Uh, for example, we can look at confidence intervals. So to do this, we can do conf int. And we want to look at it for house, the housing object. Let's look at level. A 95% confidence interval. All right, so we see the 95% confidence intervals here and here for the intercept and the coefficient. Um, a couple other things you can do. If you call formula, if you say you created a bunch of uh, linear regression, or linear model objects, and you forgot what formula was used for each one, I could do formula and then I can see. Uh, what the call was, what formula was used to uh, to find that particular uh, object. Um, I can also look at call coefficient, C O E F, on the object, and this gives me the coefficients. Um, another thing I can do is I can call residuals. Excuse me. Should have an S on there. Okay, residuals. Now what this does is it gives me the residuals of every single value um, in my data set. So I have 506 observations, so there's 506 um, residuals. And if you remember what the residual is, it's the difference between the true value that we're trying to predict and the predicted value. So in this case, the predicted medium HOMA uh, uh, home value and uh, the true one, what's the difference there? So that, that would be the residual. Um, I can also uh, very similarly get the fit. So using this fitted function, this gives me the fitted y values for uh, all, my entire data set. So if I do length again of fit. I see I have 506 um, outputs. This corresponds to the fitted values for the 506 observations. Um, another interesting thing I can do is I can get a summary of this, and uh, this is very useful because it gives me the call, it gives me the residuals, um, uh, some summary statistics on the residuals, it gives me the coefficients, as well as um, uh, like R square values, F statistics, um, residuals, um, some other things, uh, significant codes and whatnot. Uh, they can be very useful. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Once you have that, you can perform linear regression in R. Let's do one more thing and uh, extend this just to the case that's not in 1D. So uh, I'm just going to call this house dot all, and I'm going to call this function one more time. D V. Except for now, I want to use all the uh, all the data. So here's a little shorthand trick when you're doing with R. So um, when I'm gonna when I'm trying to use all the um, <clears throat> all the predictor variables, 
Um, I don't need to go ahead and type all of those out. If I'm going to use all of them, I could just use this dot as shorthand, and it'll and that'll work for me instead of typing them all out. So, oh, excuse me. Zing. Okay. And let's take a look at house all, and we see now we have the uh, function call, the intercept, and all the coefficients uh, for the variables that we need. And, uh, and that is it. So I hope you found this uh, video useful. And if you did, please like it. Uh, and if you'd like to get more updates on videos I do regarding uh, machine learning and math, data science, and a bunch of cool uh, technologies, please subscribe to my station. Thank you.